Hey guys, it's another hot day over here in California. Like it's really hot. Um, I think it's probably like 90. And I got my Red Bull in my hand because I'm ready to get some work done. But before, uh, my homework and all that. But before I do that, I want to come at you guys with a video. There's already enough videos about that you do not like or that people do not like. But I'm gonna do this as an, uh, an African edition. Um, yeah. And these are just some things that I've noticed about as you know things that Africans do or when we get together or. Oh, you've noticed. Maybe you've noticed some of this yourselves and you can do a video response or something. Yeah. So the first one is every Af when we Africans get together, there's always that one person that wants to play matchmaker. And this is a person that always seems to know somebody who could be good for you or they have a friend that they think would be perfect for you. They know somebody back in Africa that will be perfect for you. And they're constantly just talking about how they can hook you up with somebody. And I'm always thinking to myself, like, do I look like I need help in that area? You know, I mean, I'm not single anyway, but it just really annoys me when people come over trying to hook me up with people and my sisters go through it. And it's just really annoying. Like, I don't, you know, me and my sister really don't need help with trying to be hooked up with somebody. And I think that it's almost like somebody just feels like you cannot do that by yourself. I mean, I don't know if they're trying to be nice, but really, like, that really annoys me. Okay. The next thing I do not like is African guys that try to act more Americanized. They want to be like this tough person, this gangster, rapper type of person that they're not. And first of all, most of us have an accent, and it just does not come out the same. So you have, like, an African guy coming to you and saying things like, What's up, shorty? It, it's not right. It just I, I'm like, no, really, come up with something else, and maybe we'll talk. You know, and I just don't have time for it. I really do not like when guys, um, African guys, do that. I just like African guys the way they are. That's, yeah, just, yeah. Okay, in every African place or gathering, there's always that one person that always tells their business. Everything about everybody knows. Every time they got a chance to talk in a crowd, they have. They talk about the whole thing. Um, my friend was telling me a funny story of this lady who told everybody at their church, her husband makes, what job he has, um, what car he bought, and all this stuff. There's always that one person. And I'm like, why would you tell people your personal business like that? Like, really? You want to share that kind of stuff with people? And you know there's jealousies out there. People are out to... There's people out there who are hard to uh, out to hurt other people and uh, just a lot of stuff going on for you to be telling your business like that. You have to know when to say what, and especially, I just, I don't get that. That really annoys me when somebody just talks about their business. They had a fight with their husband, they're talking about it, or their wife, they're talking about it. Like, there's some things that are just, you do not share with the public. That's how I feel. So that I do not like. Um, this one is kind of personal, uh, but I really, really do not like it when... I get almost harassed and treated in a way because I'm not dating somebody from Kenya. Like, really? Like, other Africans get mad because you're not dating somebody from your tribe and all that stuff? And I'm like, I'm in America, and whoever I fall in love with is who I'm going to be with. I'm currently with somebody from Ivory Coast. Yay, Ivory Coast, right? And every time I go to some kind of gathering, um, people are, like, almost not realizing that he's there. Like, they want to show me that, oh, I should be with somebody from Kenya, and that would make me somehow... I, I would just, it would be perfect, you know, like things are just not good the way they are. I should not, I should be looking for some other Kenyan guy. And I'm like, well, maybe I looked and I didn't see anything. They, you know, people don't even think about that. And that really I, gets to me and I hate it and I do not like it. Like if somebody falls in love with somebody, leave it alone. Okay. This one, I, it always happens to me. Um, and when I was doing my bachelor's, I did a psychology with business. So anytime we're in a crowd and people are talking and they say, what do you major in? And you say something like psychology, like I did, you get people just like, oh my gosh, that's, wow, that's what you're majoring in. You should have been doing something like law. Or you should have been doing medicine. You should have been doing something in that line. It's never like, oh, you know, wow, that's wonderful, you know, and study. It's almost like, oh, that's what you're doing. That's, that's what are you, you going to do with that? Kind of like, you know. It's almost like a negative thing. Oh, you say you're not majoring in law. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna be a lawyer or anything. Ooh, that's bad. And I really cannot stand that. I hate that. I do not like it. I really do not like for people to just straight up judge you because you say you're not majoring in what most Africans should be majoring in, I guess. I don't know. Um, 
the last one um, is whenever you're in an African environment or where there's a lot of African people, you always have people who just want to show off all the things they've done, all their accomplishments, what they have. And it just gets, it annoys me. I just do not like it. Um, somebody will say, oh, I just bought a Lexus. The other person will say, well, I bought a big house, a mansion. Oh, well, in Nigeria, I did this. Or in Kenya, I have like land up to this size. And it just goes on and gone. One person says one thing, the other person goes upper, upper. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, really, I'm, I'm really the type of person who could care less about material things, you guys. You, I find happiness in the simplest things and for me that is just so annoying and i do not like it i do not like people just go on and on and on and on and on about all the stuff they have and what they've done because really in the end does it really matter who cares you know you think as a guy you're gonna come to me tell me you traveled to europe and you've been to asia and all this stuff do you think i care i do you think i care you know for me it's all about in the end i'm all about just doing things to help others um and trying to make, do the right things, you know? And really, material things disappear and nobody really cares in the end. It's what impact you made into the world or you, what you left, what your contribution was to the world. That's all really that matters, you know? And all these material things really, I don't know why people are competing about it. And competition is good to a certain point, but for material things, I never get it. Okay, you guys, so those are just some of the few things I do not like when we Africans get together or that African people do sometimes. And please share yours, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.